stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Zoo. You're right, sir. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Warning. In the spirit of Halloween, this video is going to be doomy. It's for adults only, with a sense of humor, and there will be cussing. You've been warned. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the Thor News Asteroid Fight Club Haunted House Halloween Edition. And we got one scary monster of a space rock for you. It's time to shit your pants and grab your ankles. Cry. This, this is scary shit, man. Guess what? On October 10th, they find a big-ass asteroid named Totally Bad 143. Wait, I forget the name. Asteroid 2015, totally bad, 145. They found it one week ago. It is coming within 1.3 lunar distances of Earth, and it is 650 meters long, wide, tall, deep, around circumference radius. Now, I am not joking. They found this huge, massive asteroid just a week ago. They solved it, which means they figured out its orbit on October 16th. Woe is ye. And if you'll notice, it has a condition code of eight. Orbit uncertainty. Estimate zero to nine, with zero being good and nine being highly uncertain. Is this the much heralded asteroid of doom? What percentage of fail is in a condition code of eight? Because if you were flipping it around on grades, that would make it sound like a D minus. You know, it's only nine's the worst you can get, so it's only one away from the worst. You know, so it's like a, we figured it out to a D minus level and we'll keep you guys updated. As far as I know, I'm the first person mentioning the story. And I'd like to remind you, so we've just seen it. And a rock like this could devastate a city and planet Earth. Now, this is no joking matter. Asterisk, man, like it's it's a giant asteroid. It just found a couple days ago. It's massive. It's coming pretty close to Earth like I normally say I don't worry about anything unless it's under a lunar distance. But what is mildly alarming here is that this thing was huge. I mean, 650 meters, that, that's that's massive. I'll have to find some diagram that shows something about 650 meters. But And then the condition codes. Now, we're not really worried about this asteroid hitting, but with something like that, if it's surrounded by other debris, we might not see all the debris around it because it would be lumped in. So... If we were going to worry about something in the Halloween spirit, it would be the fact that there might be some other smaller chunks around it that might hit the moon or hit us. So we'll have to listen to see if the moon is hollow. If one of the rocks hits it and we hear like ding, 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 ding. That would be cool. But that would mean that uh, there was sound in space. And then people would be like, hey, NASA, what was up with that? The moon just rang like a bell. And NASA would be like, no, it didn't. Or they'll come up with some really fancy excuse. Like oral parallax. Wait, what? Okay, okay, so yes, what I'm saying is, I don't think we need to worry about this. No, we do. It is the tuberculosis of asteroids. Uh, it doesn't have a high condition code. And dun dun dun! Just when you thought it was bad, holy crap, it's getting worse. This mega Halloween asteroid has a bunch of giant asteroid rock friends, which we will get to in part two. How 23 of the 46 asteroids from October 17th through the, through November 7th or were found in 2015. And 14 of those are 100 meters or larger, with the largest one, 650 meters, coming by on Halloween. So, that's fancy, right? Maybe. Uh, so, we'll see. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. It's condition code 8. So, like, you can fear monger the crap out of that. And this is a haunted house, so who knows? Not I. Not you. We'll, we'll figure it out, right? Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. dun, 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 dun. All right, yeah, I'll be back. Wait, let's look at its orbit. Maybe we want to look at its orbit. I don't know, man. Like, uh, if you'll notice its orbit, look at that. It's coming from below us. See? Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Whoa. And, all right, you know, the more I look at this one, it's pretty creepy. You know, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, the margin of error is 10%, maybe. 10% of what, though? You know? All right. Well, I really do hope nothing happens, because if it did, I would feel like a total asshole for making light of what would be an amazingly devastating situation. Okay, God bless everybody. Stay cool.